Hello, my name is David Bohr and I'm an Apple Professional Development Consultant. And in this video, we're going to look at how we can learn chemistry uh, with the iPad in the classroom. And we're going to look specifically at things in the second level. So the first thing we're going to, do, going to do is go to iTunes U. And in iTunes U, I have downloaded a great course uh, about chemistry. Uh, you can go to the catalog and find lots of other courses, but I've found this one in the Khan Academy and there's one particular video here that helps me with ionic bonding. So this is where it all starts. Atoms bond. Or they stick together. And the purpose of this video is to just kind of think about the different types of ways that an atom can stick to another atom. So the first and kind of the most powerful way, or I think of it as the most powerful way, is if you take an atom that really wants to give an electron, so really wants to give, wants to give, and then you have another electron or another atom that really wants to take an electron. Eight electrons in their outer shell. So who wants to give? Well if you want to if you look at the periodic table, the people who want to give really badly, and we've talked about this a good bit, are the alkali metals. These guys just really want to offload an electron. And there are other people who want to give So now we've had a look at that Khan Academy video, we can go and explore some more. In iBooks, there's a great book all to do with chemistry. It's from the CK12 uh, series. And if we use this book, we can go directly to the section that talks about ionic bonding and find some more information. This is really useful stuff for uh, students to reinforce what they've done before. They can see the visual things in the Khan Academy, and they can also go to the right section in the book. They can look at the text, and uh, they can search text, and they can find definitions in text as well. The other thing is there's some, there are some great images in the book that they can uh, look at, and start to get a real understanding of what ionic bonding is. Another way to uh, reinforce our understanding of ionic bonding is to actually go to a, an app. And there is a great app called the Periodic Table app that uh, shows me the periodic table and easily gives me access to different information on the periodic table. So here I'm going to have a look at sodium. And in sodium, I can look at the different rings of electrons around it. Then I can go to chlorine and find similar, uh, the similar diagram and compare the two. And here I can begin to understand which electron will bond with which. Now I've got that uh, understanding as a teacher. What I'd really like to do is get an understanding of what a student can understand. So we're going to use an app called Animation HD. And we're going to create, uh, I'm going to ask students to create an animation that shows me how ionic bonding works between sodium and chlorine. So we use this app very, very simply to uh, draw a diagram. So I'm going to choose the right tool and the right colors to draw a diagram. I'm going to draw my uh, sodium first. So here's my sodium atom. And uh, then I'm going to choose a different color and get my chlorine atom drawn and put the Cl in there. And the next thing I'm going to do is put the electrons around the outside. So I know that sodium has one electron that it wants to get rid of. And now I'm going to go to a chlorine and put the seven atoms in its uh, uh, seven electrons in its outer circle there. And now I can think about how I can animate the electron going from sodium to chlorine. And I do this by duplicating cells and uh, have the little uh, uh, electron speeding its way from one side, one atom to the other. And here we go. So now that uh, I've just duplicated all those cells and changed them a little bit, I can show how at the end I have one compound called NaCl salt. And then I can play my animation and uh, see how that works. I could uh, use this uh, this video in any number of ways I wanted to and uh, it gives me as a teacher a really good inclination of how that student is working so I can take that video and I can export it and reuse it in all sorts of different ways maybe in a video project 